Sometimes in QuickBooks, you may be looking at a report, let's just say your profit and loss, and you realize that one account should have more money and one account should have less money. You have the ability to move money back and forth between accounts by creating what's called a journal entry. Now this is a little more of an advanced feature. You want to make sure before you create your journal entry that you know which account you want to credit and which account you want to debit. Let me go ahead and show you where you go to create a journal entry. I want to run a profit and loss report. I'm going to head over to reports from my navigation bar. And I have profit and loss saved in my favorites here, so I'll go ahead and click on that. You'll notice that when you first pull it up, you're looking at the current period. I'm going to go ahead and tell it I want to look at last year. And then I'll run the report and see what my numbers look like. Let's say you're looking down the list and under this job materials for income here, you see that you have $745 in fountains and garden lighting and you have 108 in sprinklers and drip systems. And you know that $50 of the sprinklers should belong to fountains and garden lighting. I can move money from one to the other by using a journal entry. I'm gonna go up and click on the new button and I'm going to choose journal entry. The first thing you wanna do is check your date. I want this to show up in last year, so I'll make sure it's dated for 1231. And now I'm going to put in my two accounts that I wanted to work with. The first one was fountains and garden lighting. And the other one was sprinklers and drip systems. Now what I want to do is debit, in this case, the sprinklers, $50. And I want to credit the fountains and gardens, $50. Now the way a journal entry works is you can have as many accounts as you want, but your total debits and your total credits have to equal the exact same amount of money or it won't let you save it. Since I want to take $50 away from sprinklers and drip systems, I debited that account. And I want to add the 50 to fountains and gardens, so I credited that one. Now I'm going to hit save and close at the bottom and we'll go check out our numbers. Now if you look at the report, make sure that you go back and pick the same period again because you'll notice it defaulted to this year. I'm going to go ahead and say last year and run the report. Now if you look at it, I've moved $30 out of this account and into that account. And that's basically what a journal entry is, moving money from one account to another. That's going to wrap up Module 10. Let's go ahead and look at the wrap up over module 11 and then we'll be done with this series of videos. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get a free QuickBooks Online Essential Keyboard Shortcuts infographic, click over there. And click over there to watch more QuickBooks videos from Simon Says It.